In this lesson, we will be looking at three different ways of entering coordinates in AutoCAD. We will draw identical rectangles by using the line command to demonstrate the different methods. In the first case, we're going to look at absolute Cartesian coordinate entry. In this case, coordinates are based from the origin point, 0, 0. I will now use the line command, so I'll click on the line icon in the draw toolbar, and we'll enter the following coordinates, 100, 100. This means that from the origin, I want a point that is 100 to the right and 100 above. Hit enter, and there is my starting point. Continuing to use absolute Cartesian or rectangular coordinates, I will enter the point 400, 100. Again, 400 to the right of the origin and 100 above. Hit enter, and you see the first line segment of our rectangle. Next, I'll enter a point 400 in the x direction and 250 in the y direction relative to the origin. Press enter for the second segment. I'll now enter the coordinate 100, 250. Press enter, and finally, we'll close the rectangle by typing 100, 100. Hit enter, and enter again to end the line command. Note that I could have used the close option for the last segment of that rectangle. Now, the second method that I will demonstrate is called relative Cartesian coordinate entry. For this method, we'll still use Cartesian coordinates, that's to say x and y, but we are going to input coordinates relative to the last entered coordinate point instead of the origin. So, before we do that, I'll change the color. Here is the color control. If you click on this down arrow, you will see all the different colors you can use to draw with. I'll choose red. I will now start the line command. Using relative coordinates, you still have to have a point to start from. Therefore, I'm going to enter the first point using absolute coordinates. Type 100, 100, and press Enter. Now rather than typing in the coordinates of this point, I'm going to enter coordinates relative to the last point, 100, 100. So, if you recall, this point here is at 400, 100. In the x direction, I need to go 300 units from this point, and in the y direction, there is no change. Both points have the same y value of 100. Now, in order to distinguish between relative and absolute coordinates, we use the at symbol. This tells AutoCAD that we're using relative coordinates. Type in at, followed by the change in x, 300, and then the change in y, which is 0. Hit enter, and you'll see that I've drawn a line over the top of the initial line. To continue using relative Cartesian coordinates, I must enter a point relative to the last point entered. So first, type the at symbol. There's no change in x, so I'll type 0, comma, followed by the change in y. This point has a height of 100, and the point above has a height of 250, a difference of 150. So type 150, hit enter, and there's the next line. For the next point, you can see that there is a change in x, but it's to the left, or in the negative direction. Using relative coordinates, I'm going to type at, followed by a negative 300. Remember that we're going from the x value of 400 to 100. And then, in the y direction, it would be 0. There's no change in altitude. So type comma 0 and hit enter. And for the final point, type at and 0 in the x direction, since the x does not change. And in the y direction, we're going down 150. So negative 150. And press enter. So that is a rectangle drawn using relative Cartesian coordinates. Press enter to end the line command. 
The final method that I will demonstrate is relative polar coordinates. Before we do that, we'll change the color again. I'll change to green. Start up the line command again from the draw toolbar. And just as before, I'll need a starting point. So I'm going to enter the first coordinate in absolute rectangular coordinates, 100, 100. Enter. Now, I want to draw the first line. Then I'm going to draw the line relative to the starting point. And I want to enter it using polar coordinates. In polar coordinates, you enter a length and an angle. The length in this case would be represented by the length of this horizontal red line. That length is 300. So first type at, remember we are using relative coordinates, followed by the length, 300. The next thing that we're going to enter is an angle. In order to indicate that we're entering an angle, we're going to use the less than symbol. Type the less than symbol. Now for the second input, I need to indicate the angle. The way we measure angles in AutoCAD is in degrees. And we measure positive, counterclockwise, starting from the positive x axis. So for the first line, there is no angle. It's an angle of zero degrees, because it's a horizontal line to the right. So type zero, hit enter, and sure enough, you see that we've drawn a green line over the top of the red line. Going from this point, we want to draw this vertical line that is a length of 150. So type at 150, angle, and now we must determine the angle. Measuring counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, you'll find that this angle is a positive 90 degrees. So type 90 and press enter. Continuing on, first type at, and now the length of this line is 300. It's possible to enter a negative length, but it's better to stick with positive length and control the direction with an angle. So measuring from the positive x-axis, counterclockwise, we find the angle to be 180 degrees. Enter the angle symbol, followed by 180, and press enter and there's that line. To complete the rectangle, type at 150, angle, and then this angle is 270 degrees, or alternatively, negative 90. So I hit enter, and then enter again to end the line command. So this completes the tutorial on coordinate entry we've looked at entering coordinates using absolute Cartesian coordinates, coordinates relative to the origin. We've also looked at them using relative Cartesian coordinates, in which case we start the command prompt with the at symbol, and then we enter the change in x, change in y, separated by a comma. Then we looked at relative polar coordinates, which we start with an at symbol, then we enter length, use the less than symbol, and the angle measured in degrees.